It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do the daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be in the next few days. Let's just see what we got. What kind of message do I need to deliver today? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? You know, I see the King of Wands. The King of Wands uh, is somebody who is given to take action, very strong, very protective. Um... Uh, decisive okay this guy is decisive it's like he's made up his mind he's about to do something this is could be an aries leo sagittarius but it doesn't have to be this person has uh decided that he needs to take action okay um he's the boss uh he's very strong he's very dominant so i feel like this guy is it's like he's ready to make a big move. That's what it is. He's going to do something. It feels like something crazy. And I don't know. I don't know. But take it however it is. It feels like he's going to do something crazy. Put it that way. And that would be the King of Wands. He certainly can do something crazy. So, ooh, Nine of Pentacles. We have this independent person who's doing quite well. Stable, secure, uh very comfortable, uh, has created, uh, quite a bit of abundance here. This person is abundant, um, grounded, single. This is an independent person, a single person, very successful. Has, has just about reached the ultimate abundance by themselves. Okay. The next card is the 10 of pentacles. So this person isn't needy, not, this person isn't needy, this person isn't broke, uh, this person is very stable and secure. Maybe a, maybe a gardener, so this person has gardens. Determined to be successful, we have a hard worker here. Hmm, the world reverse. There's some sort of unfinished business with this person. There's unfinished per, per, unfinished business. This person is single, is independent, was, was left to take care of business by themselves. So this person takes care of business by themselves. This may be a biz, business owner even. But there's unfinished business here. Somebody may be coming towards this person. Somebody that they know, because this is this is uh, lack of closure in some way. Now, this is lack of success. Hmm. Ooh, yes, yes, it's not over. It's not over. So something isn't over yet. It hasn't completely ended with this person. Hmm. There's been a delay. There's been some sort of delay. Somebody hasn't been honoring their truth. They haven't been communicating. They've uh, been confused. We have somebody here that hasn't been communicating. They've been confused. They've been stagnant. They've been delaying their own success. Or they've been uh, staying put in a situation that uh, they don't really want to be in. Hmm. But there's, this, is, this is a higher power involved. And, and they may be, there's something about commitment here. Marriage, commitment. This is about having faith and believing. Believing in oneself. Mm. Strength reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. This is a higher power. Okay, this is like God or a higher power. 
somebody may have turned their back on a commitment or they may be turning their back on a commitment because this is a commitment and this is independent. So somebody may be turning their back on a commitment. Um, this could be a sudden departure of some sort. There's vulnerability here. There's lack of courage. This person's very strong. Maybe intimidating. Doesn't need anybody. So this person doesn't need anybody. And this is lack of courage, lack of willpower, lack of discipline, feeling inadequate. Somebody may feel inadequate. They may feel like they're not strong enough for this person. This person is has gained independence and in taking care of themselves for some time. This was inadequate, and this is a fear. Okay, there is this is there is fear, and yes, there is fear of this person. But there's some sort of unfinished business. But there's a higher power involved, saying it's not over. It's not over. Something isn't over. You're going to have to face your fears. This Knight of Wands reversed his reckless behavior. Doesn't really want responsibility. Acts impulsively. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with a King of Swords. We could be. Or a, or a Knight of... This is a Knight of Wands. So it's fire and air. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Taurus here. We have Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't matter. But this is a lack of communication, a lack of faith as well. You need to have faith. Somebody may be fearful of commitment. But this guy's, uh, uh, yeah, he's made a decision. This is somebody who is very decisive. So a decision has been made. He's been investigating. This is somebody that. Uh, is very wise. The kings are wise. Very intellectual. And he's going to do something. He's just going to do it. And impulsive. So the yes, this, this guy does, he gets an idea and he does it. He's just going to do it. So this guy is, is, and this is crazy. So yes, we do have somebody that is going to do something crazy. He is. He's going to do something crazy. Now I don't want to see what he's going to He's going to communicate. But he's got the sword of communication. He's got the power in his hands. He is going to communicate. He's going to do something. He's going to make some sort of move. His decision, he's made up a decision. He's been stuck. He was fearful. He was at a crossroads and he was unsure for a minute. But I feel like he's made his decision now. And I'm saying he because that's what's on his card. I mean, that's what's on this card. It looks as though this guy's got some sort of, he just, he is going to do it. He's got some sort of idea. He's made up his mind. His mind is made up. Yeah, there's been fear. Somebody may be being left independent to take care of themselves, okay? There's a choice that is being made. I think he's made up his mind. And this could be, all of a sudden, he's made up his mind. Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Six of Pentacles reversed is inequality. There's an abuse of generosity here. There's um, strong control issues in domination. Somebody was trying to dominate, therefore they weren't communicating. They were trying to dominate the situation. And there's there could be uh, struggles with dominance here. This person is very strong. So we could have somebody, you know, maybe there's a masculine and a feminine that have power struggles with a domination, okay? There's definitely been some sort of injustice with the Six of Pentacles reversed. Um, a lack of reciprocate, re reciprocate, reciprocation. Uh, One-sidedness. Somebody didn't uh, put in effort when they should have. Uh, hmm... The star, why, 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 why? The star reverse, why is this happening? They didn't help. They didn't help. Um, the fear took over. Somebody's fear took over. And they did not have faith. They didn't have faith that uh, whoever they were dealing with that they could trust them. There's a lack of trust. There is a lack of trust. Now this person has been in some sort of depression. They have. They've been in some sort of depression. Because they're not getting communication either. This person is strong. They're, this person isn't communicating either. They're not. They're not. They're not. 
Ten of Swords. Now that is a, a betrayal. A betrayal of generosity. Somebody gave. They gave something and didn't get anything in return. Now something has ended. It's like somebody has, has gone as low as they can go. And now there's, this is like, um, heavy, feeling very, very heavy. Somebody is feeling heavy. They're feeling like weighed down, held down, can't get up, can't move, paralyzed. And it feels like they were paralyzed by fear. I do feel like there's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear. And this person is like asking why. They were asking why this happened. And it happened because they didn't, they were indecisive. Fear, fear drove. Fear definitely drove this whole situation. Fear of giving up their independence. Fear of being dominated. Uh, maybe some sort of intimidation. Intimidated by the other person. Now... Now there's been some sort of ending because this is an ending. This guy is going to communicate something. He's going to communicate something. Somebody's given up. They have given up. They've given up completely. Hmm. Interesting. Did not reciprocate. No more reciprocation. Not going to give. Not giving. It's over. Somebody's not giving. Something is over. I know that's changing. It's like, and this is like, why, 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 why is this happening? I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to give up on something that isn't love. Because we got all these cards here. And if anybody can point out any love, please let me know. Because there ain't none. All right. Somebody. There ain't none. There ain't no love in these cards. None. So we do have somebody here that is making a decision. They're making a... Uh, it's like this guy knows. He knows what he's got to do and he's going to do it. He's, he's definitely been sitting on the fence for a while and I don't think he's sitting anymore. I don't think he's going to be sitting anymore. He's going to do something crazy. Sudden. This is a sudden departure of some sort. He's suddenly going to choose his forward path. He's been thinking about it for quite some time. There's been a lack of willpower. This guy uh, uh, may have been intimidated by somebody else. or They may have been fearful of being alone or something like that. Well, there's definitely some sort of fear here. There's some sort of lack of courage, lack of strength, lack of discipline, lack of willpower. But I feel like that's over. I feel like it's over. There's there's definitely, they've been in a stagnant situation and holding on has gotten too old. It's like, I can't do this anymore. This isn't my truth. It's not my truth. This isn't my truth, you know? It's not my truth. I, this is too depressing. There's, this isn't, this is, this is, uh, there's no uh, hope. There's no hope here. I might as well uh, let this end. I, I gotta end this. I gotta end this. I gotta take away I got to take myself out of this situation and I think there's a higher power that is guiding somebody to do so. I feel like this person has another opportunity. They've seen it. Okay, they've seen this other opportunity and they've been waiting uh, trying to make sure that they made the right decision. But I feel like this guy now he knows that he's making the right decision. He can he doesn't. This person whoever he's been holding on to doesn't complete that complete him. And I feel like he's uh, sees that, you know, I think he really sees that and, and he can't hold on anymore. He can't hold. There's no success. There's no success in this uh, situation that he has been holding on to. So I feel like he is giving up and deciding to take himself out of the equation. He is probably going to shut down communication, take his power back. Looks like he's taking his power back from somebody. Um, so I do, I feel like we have a separation here. I do. I think that we have a, a split because this guy, he's made his mind up. He's made his decision. Um, yeah, life is about to change. This is a positive change. It's destined change. Life is always changing. So we do have a change that is coming. A decision is being made. That cycle is over. 
moving into a new life. Somebody is taking themselves out of, of uh, like a marriage or a commitment, something they have been committed to. They're removing themselves. It's over. It's done. Um, they're giving up. They're giving up. This is a goodbye. It is. A, I'm sorry, but it is. It is a goodbye. This guy hasn't, or somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They haven't, they haven't been telling the truth. Okay. And there's unfinished business with, I think with somebody else. Hmm. Somebody is probably feeling guilty. I feel like we, I feel like this guy, somebody is feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty for not honoring their own truth. They're moving on from that bad choice. Somebody may feel ashamed and their health may be declining. There is, there is poor health here. There definitely is poor health here. Somebody's health is definitely declining. And it's declining because they're not honoring their truth. Stress kills. You know, when you don't honor your truth, it, it eats you alive. So I feel like... Uh, We de look at these tens, and then we have these tens here. We have a completion of a cycle. It has been painful. Somebody has been suffering, and they've been suffering. Um, it feels like they were suffering in some sort of commitment that was definitely lacking emotional support. It was lacking love because we don't got no love here. None. None. So I feel like the choice has been made. And this guy is about to do something crazy that uh, changes his future. Okay? He's about to do it. And he's, gonna, he's like he takes a leap. He takes a leap of faith. And turns his back on something that <laughs> isn't love. Good luck. 